5.30 in the morning and I'm about to get my cardio on, um, my fasted cardio. I'm outside of LA Fitness and um, just wanted to say good morning to everybody and want to touch up on something really, really quick. Um, there's a, there was a message that was sent to me yesterday and I get these messages all the time, but um, it was regarding carbohydrates, right? Um, person who asked the question was asking if it's better to cut um sorry about that let me turn off my car um they're asking if it's better to cut carbohydrates in the morning or at night they're trying to lose weight so they were asking for advice and my answer to that is um it really doesn't matter um because i feel like your body can't really tell whether it's daytime or nighttime now my answer to that is what I would do is I would try to um, <clears throat> or try to revolve all your carbohydrates around your workout. I mean, consume carbohydrates pre-workout and post-workout. So if you're not taking, if you're not consuming very much carbohydrates, I would try to save all those for right before your workout and right um, right after your workout. Right. So all your meals can be just protein and fats and stuff like that. Whatever it is that you're doing with your your meal plan. Again, you know. Um, I feel like your body is only concerned about the daily intake for micronutrients and it's not gonna you're really not gonna see a difference whether you cut carbohydrates in the morning or right before you go to bed there's been all these studies and all this stuff there's just so much information that's on the internet that gets everybody confused you know because first thing they come out and say, oh, you know, you should always stop eating carbohydrates at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. You shouldn't consume any more if you want to lose weight and you know, stuff like that, you know. Then, oh, uh, in the morning or, you know, so-and-so. Yes, cutting carbohydrates, um, having a low-carb diet will get you more shredded if things are done the right way. Um, if they're not, you might just go ahead and lose some muscle. So... You just got to have your diet on point. And again, people need to realize that um, carbohydrates aren't bad. Carbohydrates are amazing. You, know? uh, you get the most out of um, carbohydrates out of energy. You know? For That's why I always say, uh, and, and another thing that I want to point out is um, pay attention to your body, how your body reacts to food. There's no such thing as bad food. Well, there is, but not exactly. It's just uh, bad timing for food. Uh, what I mean by this is um, pay attention to what type of foods give you the best uh, pumps. Uh, start paying attention. Is it rice? Is it white potatoes, sweet potatoes? I myself get the best pumps out of sweet potatoes for uh, pre-workout. So I always consume those um, right before my workout. And I get amazing freaking pumps, right? Right before photo shoots, that's what I do. I load up on uh, sweet potatoes and... Um, of course, you know, my uh, glycogen and my EVP for that insane pump. But um, anyhow, I just kind of wanted to bring that up to your guys' attention for those of you who are wondering. And I'm about to hit up my facet cardio. Again, it's early in the morning. And um, just to go over my routine, I got up. I took my BCAAs, my fat burner, and I'm on an empty stomach. I've got um, BCAAs, AminoJet, CellCam, doesn't really matter what you do. I prefer this just because you get the most out of the, uh, the product for your money. And um, AminoJet's freaking awesome for facet cardio. Carnagen, right? It's all in here. So I'm ready to go and I'm ready to kill it. Ready for a new day. Today's going to be super busy. We're looking to move out. So we got to go check out this new place that we might be staying at. Um, I'm also looking to purchase a new car. So if I do that, um, I got to do all that stuff. I got to do so much editing. Um, I haven't even posted the very first video for this um, journey. And it's just because I've been having problems with uh, my computer, with the software. Um, the GoPro uh, studio is a piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my French, but you know I freaking hate that damn thing. I mean, the the uh, effects that you can do on that software are freaking awesome, but 
Um, from what I'm doing, I don't think it was designed for that type of work just because my videos are so damn long and I, it, it keeps on crashing on me. But anyhow, thank you for being patient and um, hope you guys are enjoying these videos once they're up. And if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below. All right, I'm going to go kill this because uh, I need to cut the filming because it's getting a little too long and all these editings are taking forever. So anyhow, uh, God bless and I'm about to kill it. And it is recording now. Look at this. What's up, guys? Um, meal number one is about to go down. Like I mentioned earlier, it is a busy morning for me. Um, we're about to go check out this uh, place, this new place that we're gonna, we might be staying at. Um, so I, as soon as I uh, finished my fasted cardio, went home, showered. I didn't even have time to eat, so I had to pack everything. Um, just and picked my up, lunch. just picked up Myra from her work, so we can go uh, check out this place. And Myra, go ahead and show them what we got. Um, you have oatmeal. Go ahead and, and open it and show it to the camera. Let them get a visual. Oatmeal and bananas. Oatmeal and bananas. For you, not for me. That's for me. Of course, that's my carbs for the morning. Huevos. Some huevos, some egg whites, and one whole egg. It smells delicious, by the way. It smells <laughs> um, and I also meal prep for Myra. As most of you know, I do the meal prepping in this relationship. He really does. Yeah, I, and pretty much all the cooking. So I got her some. Uh, I'm she's got a little bit. Them. She's got a little bit of sweet potatoes and some chicken with buffalo sauce. Grilled chicken breast with uh, buffalo sauce. She loves that stuff. And one tablespoon of olive oil. So she's got a balanced meal, ready to go. Um, she's got her protein, her carbs, and her fats. Um, can't forget the water. Again, um, I also took my uh, pro probiotic, my digestive enzyme, and my lemon juice mix that I normally take for my digestive system every morning. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and refer to the previous video. Check that out where I explain all my supplements and why I do the stuff that I do. So anyhow, we are about to go hit up this place and about to grub. Catch you guys in a bit. Meal number one going down, like I said, um, waiting for Myra to come back from the bank. And it is really important to meal prep. This is why I emphasize to be prepared ahead of time. Because if I didn't have this prepared, I would probably be going out to get a burger or some fast food joint stuff, you know, just so I can get some breakfast in. Of course, I gotta eat, right? So by having everything prepared ahead of time, you don't, you prepare for success. That's pretty much what it is. So meal prep, guys, meal prep, it's really not that hard for those of you guys that don't know what meal prep is I mean it's just prepping your food preparing your food ahead of time in a Tupperware that's all it is you know having it ready to go cooked so all you have to do is just either reheat or whatever it is you know just grab and go uh, there's no science to it or anything like that it's just literally throw that stuff in there whatever you're gonna eat and let's go all right so plan ahead of time yo what's up everybody um, it's been a long fucking day um, it's probably there around what nine o'clock? Past nine. Past nine. Nine forty. Nine forty, and we're about to hit our workout. And we're it's so cold. It's very cold. <laughs> um, we're about to hit up some arms. Uh, it's just been a crazy day for me. Uh, checked out our new place that we might be staying. Um, looks good. Did um, a couple diets, and most of my day just went to. Uh, you know trying to get these videos up but anyhow I got all my meals in and uh, we're about to hit it so um, I hope you guys enjoy today's workout it's gonna be a lot of high volume but we're gonna fucking kill it all right catch you guys in a bit <laughs>
girl, and if they hit you, you die. You die. Are you Afrojack? No, he's Afrojack. Who? Yeah. Afrojack. Is he the one you call the Afrojack? <laughs> You could be more uncomfortable by stripping your bikini on, gypsy. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you Afrojack? 
Não, isso é Afrojack. Uh, yeah. Afro é Afrojack. Is he the one you call the Afrojack? <laughs> <laughs> you are the most uncomfortable You could be more uncomfortable by stripping your bikini on the gypsy. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> workout meal today I've got egg whites and oatmeal with one digestive enzyme all right I've been doing rice krispies and uh, for my post-workout but I just ran out so I like to mix it up keep it real food um, oatmeal and egg whites we just killed arms I had a fucking amazing workout crazy fucking pump can't wait to see some freaking definition in my arms again. But overall, I'm very happy. I always, uh, I can't even stress how much I try to preach that um, changing your workouts is what's gonna give you uh, results. You know, you gotta get outside your comfort zone, do something different because your body gets used to the same shit every single time. That's the same reason why, you know, people that come in to the gyms, your average Joe doesn't get the results that he's seeking for because he's been doing the same shit over and over and over again. You know, you hit plateaus, so you gotta trick your body and um, you know, keep it guessing. So what I do is I like to go heavy, I like to go light, you know, whatever it is. Uh, I don't even count reps anymore. I've been saying that on my past videos. I stopped counting reps. I just go in there and my mentality is always to just fuck shit up. Literally just try to get the best freaking pump I can possibly get and I don't leave the gym until I fatigued all my freaking targeted muscle uh, meaning biceps and triceps today um, we did a lot of high volumes we did uh, super sets we did four sets um, drop sets a lot of different stuff so I'm constantly mixing it up and I felt pretty confident 
with today's workout. It was just freaking awesome. Uh, again, amazing pump. My arms are like freaking balloons right now. Can't, can't stress how, uh, how good it feels. And that's the main thing, you know, just feeling good about yourself. Health is the most important part of the journey and you gotta keep it healthy, you know? Um, it's a lifestyle. That's what I keep on telling everybody, you know? It's a lifestyle, it's not a quick fix or anything like that. Um, I've been doing this for about four years now. On a serious note, I've been doing it for about two years, meaning competitively. Um, and I've gotten some amazing changes and it's just consist uh, sorry, consistency is what will get you there. You know, I get all these messages on uh, Instagram on Facebook and they're like, hey, you know, freaking your physique is freaking awesome. That's my goal. How, how, what are you doing? What do you eat? And, you know, today I really didn't film a lot of my meals for that same reason because I know your average Joe, whoever it is that's watching this, is going to be like, oh, Luis is eating this amount of potatoes, this amount of chicken. I'm going to do the same thing so I can get a physique like him. You guys need to understand that you need to cater to your own body. And what I mean by that is that everybody reacts to food differently. You need to know what works for you. Get a baseline of um, micronutrients, whatever it is that your goal is, to lose weight, to bulk up, whatever it is, to shred, um, and just go with it, you know? Everybody's different. Um, learn your foods, because that's the most important thing that's gonna get you the results that you want. Example, I was talking about this earlier. Um, Sweet potatoes give me a freaking amazing pump. I load it up with sweet potatoes for pre-workout and I always feel it gives me a freaking amazing pump, good strength, and versus rice. Rice is an amazing freaking uh, muscle builder, carbohydrate, but I just react a lot better to sweet potatoes. And you need to find out what works for you. So whoever's watching this, experiment. And there's, that's the only way you're going to learn. You know, that's the way I learned. Um, I did a lot of fucking silly diets and shit like that. But at the end of the day, I know my body better than anybody else does. You know, and that's why I can prep myself. Um, but anyhow, um, we are going to go home, shower up, and uh, get one last meal in. And feed our workouts and some vacuums. Don't forget to do those feed our workouts and the vacuums. Every time I say feeder workout, I'm not sure what Myra thinks I'm talking about Fido, like the Fido position. Fido. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense because we're trying That's to get what big. That's I'm going to do. We're I'm trying gonna to get big. We're not trying to get the Fido position. <laughs> Anyhow, um, it's freaking cold. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right. Good night. Peace.